What I find exciting about my job is the fact that um, I get to work with people. I'm not stuck behind a desk all day. I get to go outside, rain or shine or what have you. I, you know, I have the opportunity to go out and work with these people, see what they're doing, help them make better decisions as to how to work these cars. I hit, get the opportunity to live in different states and different regions that I never thought I would ever live in. I mean, the pay is great. The opportunities and the people that you meet, um, there's training opportunities galore. I mean, you'll never go hungry if you want to learn something new. A lot of universities a uh, hundred years ago, 120 years ago, developed um, railway engineering programs because railroads were the fundamental economic system for transportation. And then you get into the 20th century and all of a sudden railroads find themselves in competition with automobiles, with trucks and buses, with aviation. A lot of people don't know that there's opportunities out there. They think, oh, rail's old school. Not so much. There's, um, there's a lot of new things coming out in rail. For passengers, they're looking at high-speed rail, and there's a new government initiative with uh, positive train control. We're always looking for the next best thing from a testing side of things and testing of our rail product. And today, railroading is flourishing and doing well, laying track, hiring people. It's just an amazing time to see it. The opportunities are endless, really, and I'm very excited about where the future is for railroads. If someone's involved in the rail transportation program and have experiences and exposure to railroads, they're definitely going to be a more desirable applicant or candidate for a full-time railroad position. First of all, it lets the industry know what kind of skill sets are coming from the recent grads. Also, it lets the rail industry drive what uh, skill sets are taught to those students. Is that when they enter the industry, they don't start from ground zero in the learning curve. So it's really a win-win there. The rail transportation program is definitely more hands-on. It gives us students much more hands-on experience and applicable work experience. And universities can really be a collaborator with the industry to develop the latest technologies and to implement them into the rail applications. Currently people uh, climb up on top of the train and look into, into a big hole with a flashlight and try to gauge how much sand is in there. That's a problem for them. So uh, for us to be able to remotely monitor how much sand is in the locomotives in each container is really important. So what we've done is basically look through various kinds of sensors. We've looked at um, ultrasonic sensors, radar, laser range finders, uh, some capacitance rods and various other things and found the best fit uh, for the type of environment that locomotives are in all the time. Well, the, the program uh, here at Michigan Tech has a great opportunity to have an impact on the railroad business because you can kind of bring the enthusiasm, the excitement of new people looking at something for the first time and taking some existing technology and making it even better. I certainly recommend REAC for students looking for a, a rail career. What it does is, is give them that idea of what rail and industry expects from them. It's also one great thing about it is you get these, these field trips with REAC. You actually get to put your hands on a train and understand how the whole thing works. I know REAC has been kind of the biggest difference for me in, this, in, in my last four years here. Being involved with that has pretty much given me most of the opportunities that, I, that, I've, that I've gotten. I definitely recommend people get involved with REAC and through that also get involved with RTP. One of the key things for us from industry support has been this uh, sea and rail transportation education center. Until we were able to establish the center, we really didn't have identity in the university. Once we got the center, we have space, we have a location to keep our resources, we have a location for our students to meet, and we have a location for our computers and software that we use for railway-related education and research. We get a lot of financial support, but we also get support in other intangible ways. We get guest lecturers, we get resources for our projects, we get expert guidance for our students. So there are multiple different uh, ways how our partners work with us and, and they all are really important for our success. While the Rail Transportation Program really started as an educational initiative, we have really been expanding to the research side over the past several years. So for this research we, we got different simulation tools to facilitate the, the evaluating capacity and operation management techniques. And I would say that these simulations can help us to see what are different scenarios that we can provide for our case study 
or for different uh, rail corridors that we are working on that. I think the rail transportation program at Michigan Tech is really, really exciting. It's, it's growing and it's, it's shown a lot of progress in the last few years and I don't think there's really anything that's stopping it right now and it's interesting to see just how much, how far it's come and how many people really get involved with it and take it and run with it. There needs to be initiative, there needs to be the desire, there needs to be somebody that can be self-starters. All of that seem to be qualities that are coming from the Michigan Tech students that at least I have met. The advantage here is the chance to be engaged in the specific attention to railway study, into railway operations, and to interact with people in the industry in a deeper level than almost any other place in the country right now.